Kasaya is attachment to worldly objects and is an obstacle in the path leading to nirvikalpa samadhi, it is overcome through viveka, discrimination. Meaning Kasaya or kashaya Sanskrit, kasaya means, astringent, decay, smearing, juice, degeneracy, anointing, gum, resin, red-brown, stupidity, defect, fragrant. It also means attachment to worldly objects or to the yellowish-red garments worn by monks. Overview Satananda defines kasaya as attachment to worldly objects, the failure of the mental state to rest on the absolute, owing to the numbness brought on by impressions due to attachment even when there is no torpidity or distraction in Vedanta, the word kasaya denotes metaphorically a rigid state of mind hardened by one's own inclinations and passions. <inaudible> Jiva Rishi Gautama Noda Rig Veda I describes the jiva in the following words Krana Rudrabhavasubi Purohito Hoda Nisado Rayasalamartya Ratho Na Viksvrnjasana Ayusu Vyanasagavarya Deva That is the jiva Krana the spotless achiever of good deeds who should be known as the one who moves about Nisada in the bodily form Hoda applying and enjoying all substances and thoughts the gross and the fine all the while attached to this earth or world Vasubha guided and impelled by the pranas Rudrabha experiencing the varying stages of birth, growth, maturity etc. Ayusu and all attendant consequences Urnshana with a view to enjoying the desired happiness and comfort though in reality by itself it is pure and undying." Quote, and, Rishi Kumaro Yamayana Rig Veda X in the following mantra explains Yathabhavadanudei tato agramajayata puristad buddhna atata paskanarayanam kritam that the paramatman universal soul is the primordial existence, remaining throughout creation, omnipresent, even as the Javatman individual soul, dons a body and experiences bondage to material objectives and duality or unknowing of that omnipresence it is the jiva, who by its actions, attracts to itself the pudgalas the tendencies that keep an individual re-incarnating, which results in its bondage, all that one enjoys or suffers from are the products of karmas, good or bad. Gaudapada's exposition Gaudapada, Gaudapada Karika 3 warns that the seeker after truth should not linger on the bliss of Savikalpa Samadhi because that enjoyment Rasavada, after Laya, Vikshepa and Kasaya, is the fourth kind of obstacle in the path to Nirvikalpa Samadhi, one should be unattached through Vivaka discrimination. Attachment is a weakness of the mind as it is not easily disciplined to withdraw from the enjoyment and related effects arising out of desire. He explains, as in dreams where the mind vibrates with dual aspects, so too in the waking state these aspects seem to be all that there is but when the state of nirati, dissolution of the mind is achieved, duality is no longer perceived. The conduct of the mind in deep sleep when it loses itself is not like its conduct in the controlled state when it does not lose itself, and Graho na tatra natsargashinta yatra na vidyat atmasanstham tata janyanamajati samadam getam. There may be no duality where all mental activity ceases, then, the javatma attaining oneness with the knowable Brahman becomes established in the self, unborn and poised in equality. Gaudapada Karika 3.38, torpidity or laya laya is overwhelm of the senses and the mental state, falling asleep unable to maintain awareness of the absolute, and distraction or vikshepa vikshepa is through failing to be able to rest the mental state on the absolute, resting it on other things. <laughs> Significance Patanjali Yoga Sutras 2.2 Samadhi Bhavanartha Klesa Tanukaranarthaska assures that by cultivating the power of concentration the obstacles, which cause all suffering, in the way of enlightenment, can be removed. The obstacles he refers to are the negative effects of ignorance, egoism, attachment, aversion and the desire to cling to life. And, as regards the enjoyment of bliss attained coinciding the gain of non-conceptual knowledge Sankara advocating the understanding of the depth meaning of the Mahavakya Tat Twamasi, states 
Pratyagbadho ya abati divayanandalaksana advayanandarupaska pratyagbadikalaksana What appears as the witness consciousness within, the individual self, is of the nature of bliss one without a second, and the one that is the bliss within is none other than the individualized self the witnessing consciousness within. Which statement means that owing to the conditioning in the jiva, the individual can experience only the awareness and not the bliss aspect of Brahman. References <laughs> <laughs>